Hey everyone, Rodev here, and today we're going to be creating a cell part and adding um, background music to the simulator. So let's get right into it. Also, by the way, if you have not uh, watched the other two episodes in this series, make sure you go and watch them first so you can get to where we are, and then you can continue on this one. So for the cell part, we're going to be simply going to work workspace, clicking plus, and adding a part. And we're going to call this part cell part. And basically, we're going to be using an E to a cell system. So Inside this part, you want to create an attachment and inside the attachment, you want to create a proximity prompt and inside the properties of this proximity prompt, you want to change the action text to say cell and you want to change the object text to something like, um, um, honestly, I have no idea. So I'm just going to leave it empty and, uh, basically clickable prompt on, um, you can change what key it is and I'm going to make it a whole duration, uh, 1.5. So basically the sound we use for selling has to be shorter than 1.5 just to make it a lot easier for us. And uh, lastly, it requires line of sight. I'm going to leave that on, actually off. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So inside this proximity prompt, create a script. And actually a better way of doing this is naming the proximity prompt. We're going to name it cell prompt. And you just want to copy the name of this because we'll be using it later. And inside server script service, go ahead and create a script and call it cell handler. And inside the script type local uh, PS for proximity prompt service, I guess that'd be PPS equals game colon get service proximity prompt service. And then from there, what we can do is PPS dot uh, prompt triggered colon connect uh, function. And we're gonna type prompt and we're gonna type player. From there, uh, before we drop down, we're gonna type if prompt.name equals equals and inside speech marks, you wanna paste in the name of this prompt. Make sure they match up or else uh, it won't work. And outside of the speech marks, go ahead and hit enter and we can drop down a bit. From there, we wanna type local leader stats equals player colon wafer child leader stats. And then from there, what we can do is local S for strength uh, equals leader stats colon wafer child strength and make sure the strength is whatever you put here right here as you can see in, in these speech marks this is for only uh, the script I remember when I was struggling to script I got really confused between uh, this part and this part so this is only for this script and this will be for the actual value so basically you just want to make sure this right here matches up with this so for us it's just gonna be strength and we're gonna type local C equals leader stats colon wafer child cache again whatever you put right here will be right here then what we can do is if s dot value is not equal to uh, some people have trouble finding this key so i'm just going to type um if it equals zero then so basically uh hit enter after that and so this basically just means if it's not equal to zero we're going to be typing c dot value plus equals s dot value and then we're going to be typing s dot value equals zero so basically this will add the strength of the cache and we'll be setting um s dot value to zero um the script will be modified in the future for like boosters and things like that but right now this is all you have to do so i'm just going to uh, hit play and we'll see if it works so i see i have 100 strength and now i have 223 uh, cache if I get 5 strength and I use it, I have 228 cash. So now I'm going to stop the game and we're going to be looking for a sound effect. So I'll be right back once I have a good sound effect. Alright guys, so right here I found this one. It's verified and the will the creator is verified. And as you can see, if you type coins, you'll find it. But I'll be showing you guys the asset ID. So right here, you want to insert a sound under leader stats. If you can't find the actual sound in the toolbox. And then there, inside the sound, make sure you name it coin. Or actually, we're going to call this, uh, we're just going to call this sound. And in there, the sound ID, just set it to 330269987. And as you can see, it's 1.175, which is less than the cell prompt time. What we can do is actually change um, uh, this to 1.175, just to make it a bit quicker. And uh, yeah, that's the sound. It'll work. But real quick, we actually do need to make it so it only plays for that player usually don't want it to uh, play for everyone. So you want to move this sound to uh, the starter player and inside starter player scripts. 
insert a local script and call it cell sound effect and basically just put the sound inside now inside replicated storage go ahead and create a remote event and put it inside the remotes folder call it cell sound effect and we're going to be doing game dot replicated storage dot remotes dot cell sound effect dot on client event colon connect function from there what we're going to do is script dot sound colon play and this will make it so it only plays for that player and real quick we're just going to make it so the player actually gets the sound brought to them through the remote event inside the cell handler go ahead and do right after this line player colon or actually not player but we're going to be doing a uh, game dot replicated storage dot remotes dot cell sound effect colon fire client player and that's all we need to do this uh, the sound effect will play once you sell and now we've made it so it only plays for that player and no other players will be it will be able to hear it so when i sell it won't actually make an effect if it doesn't sell so if i get some strength There we go, the sound played. And if I get more strength and I do it again, the sound plays again. So basically that's how it's going to work. And if I don't have any strength, I try to sell, it won't work. So from there, now we're going to be adding background music. And in the future, we'll make it so, when we do our settings, we'll make it so you can turn the music on and off. Uh, but for now, we're just going to have it on continuously. Uh, for that, what we're going to be doing is going to sound service, clicking plus, and inserting a sound. We're going to call this sound background music. And we're going to make sure it's looped. And you want to change playing to true. From there, you can go ahead and find your background music. Alright guys, so I found our background music. And for this, I'm just going to go ahead and copy the ID. And paste it into our original sound. And real quick, I think this sound is from a game. I just can't put my finger on it, so we're going to be using it. Obviously, you can change it up and use any sound you'd like. But I think I am copying a game with this sound, and I'm not sure which. And I don't mean to do that, so yeah, I'm just going to be using this sound here. And yeah, that's it. The background music will play uh, when any player joins the game. As you can see, I have music in the background now. Or here. And uh, we'll make it so that once you click settings, it'll open up, and you'll be able to uh, we'll turn it on and off. Well, other than that, guys, it's Rodev. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And yes, guys, in the next one, it's Rodev. Peace.